Hey everybody, it is the Star Wars Hitchhiker. I am here to talk to you guys today about Darth Plagueis. Darth Plagueis the novel. Um, this novel was amazing. I read this a while back. I uh, wanted to share it with you guys today. Um, we're only going to do a little bit of the review. You can check out the full thing on our blog. Now, the prequels will never be the same. After reading this novel, I know two things for sure. The storyline could replace episode one, The Phantom Menace, and do more justice towards the eventual downfall of the Republic and the Jedi, as well as the rebirth of the Sith. Two, if you don't appreciate the prequels now after this novel, let me tell you, you will. The principal story arc in Darth Plagueis spans several decades. The challenge was to create a history of a kind without eclipsing the characters who are in effect making history. Fortunately, the Star Wars universe is so large that I was able to research the book almost in the same way I would have a more traditional historic novel. As it progressed, I was forced to hew more closely to established lore, but even then, it proved possible to shed light on what was going on in the wings behind the scenes. Now, Darth Plagueis is truly a very cool Sith Lord. We don't see him in the, new, in the movies, but we know he's there. So, Darth Plagueis the Apprentice, Sith Lord, investment capitalist, mad scientist, and the manufacturer of the machinations that eventually destroyed the Republic. Darth Plagueis transitioned through this novel full circle, from his beginning tutelage under the bit Darth Tenebris to the fatal ending at his apprentice's hand. This story leaves no undesired detail unturned. Although this is a story of Darth Plagueis, I found what captivated me most about the novel is how his actions molded the outcomes from episode 1 to 6. Now, I'm not going to spoil everything, so um, just, like I said, check out the blog for our full review. But my final thoughts. James Lucino does a brilliant job of linking the Expanded Universe novels, the Clone Wars saga, and the movies all in this novel. I guess you could say it would be easy to write stories based on the works of other literature, but where this succeeds is with its gracefulness. Even though I knew the outcomes of the major events in the story, I... A different perspective made me feel like I was reliving some of those scenes for the first time. There are only a few Star Wars novels that I would say would top Darth Plagueis, but none that would have made episodes 1 through 3 more than this. This book was great. Um, I know it's not considered real Star Wars lore, it's just the legends at this point, but it is not one to be missed. So go ahead, go to Amazon, go check it out, um, hit up your local library, and look for more reviews. Have a great day. Star Wars